Guys, you know this dance, right? And so you also know this guy. But what if I told you that the same guy who introduced K-pop to billions of people across the world was once hated in his own country? He was called inappropriate, uncultured, gross. And up until now, even a one-hit wonder. Nightfall. This is the story of Sai, the craziest man in K-pop. And it will teach all of us what one thing you should never change on your way to the top. And that one thing has always been with him, when he was still known as Park J. Sang, the class clown at his school. Sai was the type of student who would interrupt his classes with jokes. That is why teachers didn't really like him. What they didn't know was that beyond just being a playful kid, Sai had a strong talent performing in front of the crowd. But because his parents wanted him to take over family business, he had had to keep his dreams to himself. He was forced to study business in college, all while there was fire in his heart for something else. So soon enough, Sai dropped out of college against their parents' will to enroll in a music school and then study to become a K-pop artist. And as we all know, not just any K-pop artist, a crazy one. So crazy he named himself Sai, short for Psycho. And he wasted no time proving it's a perfect fit. In fact, he was so crazy that he was fined by South Korean authorities for putting so many explicit and suggestive lyrics in his first two albums. I mean, at one point, Sai's song was even banned in his own country. Of course, for a musician with big dreams, this must have been frustrating. But uh, Psycho decided to remain being himself instead of playing it safe. So he kept on releasing his his own unique music and it finally worked because eventually a song from his third album got adapted by South Korea as an anthem for the 2002 World Cup. For getting hate and disapproval, Sai was suddenly getting respect. And as he continued writing songs that challenged people's thinking, Sai came up with a worldwide hit. A song that made fun of people who try very hard to be something they're not. Sigh at the beach? Nope, he's in a playground. Partying in a private limousine, he's in a bus filled with old people. Enjoying a dive in his private pool? Mm-hmm, it's a public bath. The music video, the dance moves, everything about Sai and Gangnam Style was so ridiculous that it didn't take long for it to break the internet. Sai broke multiple world records, won big awards, and was adored even by legends. Take your drunk smoke like a broke stove. Say what you want. Sai is the person who put K pop at the top of the world. But like I told you at the beginning, some people just couldn't resist hating on him. Because years after he brought pride to South Korea, when newer faces of K-pop started becoming incredibly famous, stars that are prettier, younger, sexier, taken more seriously by their solid fandoms, doubters could easily label him as a failure, a one-hit wonder. But that is where they got it wrong. Because even now you would see Sai making music that consistently gain a lot of popularity. Recently, he even collaborated with Suga of BTS. Can you feel it? Oh, yeah. He may no longer be the face of K-pop to the world, but he's so established by now that he's already heading his own music label. And we are very passionate and we are playing some good music and they feel like our company is a playground these days. And definitely the artist is growing right now also reflect what Sai has always believed in. The courage to be criticized for being different. And Nightfam, now that you've heard the story of the K-pop's crazy man, how he went from being banned in his own country to being celebrated by the whole world? Battle, battle. 
I hope this story inspired you to be crazy enough to stand out, to be yourself, to never hide your true personality. No matter how silly it may seem to some people, trust that you will eventually find the right people who will celebrate it. Because it is this special courage that truly makes you shine like a superstar.